What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you. Yo, if you guys appreciate videos like this, man, yo, let me know. Let me know that you show me some love. Show me some love by subscribing, liking, and all that other good stuff when you come across my videos. You know what I'm saying? I love doing this on the YouTube side. And I'm sure you guys love what I'm doing because y'all showing me the love that proves it. You know what I'm saying? So let me just jump right into it, man. Shout out to my guy, Truck Mafia from TikTok. Yo, if you're on TikTok and you follow me on TikTok and you see some crazy or interested videos, go ahead and link them over to me, man. You know, link them over to me. I'll check it out. And if it's interesting, then I'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? See, that's what I do over there on TikTok. I talk about the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't bring the bullshit over here. Well, a little bit, a little bit, it, it, unless it's unless it's a little bit more interesting than just doing it on TikTok. But other than other than like the the minor bullshit that I react to on TikTok, if it's like trucker related or trucker specific, then I'll bring it over here to YouTube and talk to you guys about it because the best conversation starts over here on YouTube, right? Let's, let's do it, man. So I want you guys to pay attention and listen to what this state trooper is saying. Hey, we're here on the south side of Indianapolis. I want to let you know about what we're getting ready to do here. This semi behind me, we're going to put an Indiana State Trooper inside the passenger seat of this semi, and he's going to start driving around area interstates. We're looking for aggressive drivers. Drivers are driving aggressively around this semi-tractor trailer and other vehicles. We're going to have troopers staged uh, on different ramps around the city, uh, waiting for those calls from that trooper inside this truck. You might ask why I'm telling you this, why I'm letting you know ahead of time. For us, it's not about writing tickets, it's about saving lives, and we want people to drive safely. Every semi you see today, I want you to assume there's an Indiana State Trooper sitting in the passenger seat, prepared to call you out if you're driving aggressively. So please, slow down, increase your following distance, use your turn signal, buckle your seatbelt, and this is just the first of many details that we're gonna do just like this. This has been in the works, this plan, uh, for, for more than a month, long before the tragic crash that happened this weekend. Uh, but that is a good reminder of the importance of driving safely. We all have to share the road. Let's do our best to make it safe for everyone. So again, today, for the next several hours, we're gonna be on area interstates in Indianapolis and uh, gonna have a trooper sitting in the passenger seat of this semi that you see behind me. Uh, and I want you to assume every semi you see today has a trooper sitting in the passenger seat. Now, somebody in the comments said that they should do this in every state. Well, I am here to tell you, bruh, they do it in every state. They just don't advertise it like this state trooper here. You know, a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff should not be advertised on social media. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, a lot of good stuff should be. But. A lot of states do do this. They do have a, a state trooper in the semi. They usually call up a, a semi, uh, a trucking company, and they link up with that trucking company, and they will have a state trooper with a camera that's pointing out of the passenger window, and they'll let them know whether if the driver is on the phone testing aggressive driving, speeding, or whatever the case. Now, a lot of you guys say, yo, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. No, I mean, what? Yeah, I mean, in some cases, but let's be honest. A lot of us truck drivers out here are, are driving aggressively. We're not doing what we're supposed to do. We're on the phone. We're texting. We're doing things that we're not supposed to be doing. And a lot of the, a lot of accidents, even though they're caused, majority of them are caused by four wheelers. But I'll say about 15, 20 percent of them are caused by us truck drivers. 
And a lot of the times it's not because of what we're supposed to be doing. If we're speeding, slow down. You're not going mean, you're going to get there in time. If you're not going to get there in time, just let your fleet manager know that you're not going to get there in time. If you're driving aggressively, reckless driving, stop doing what you're doing. If you're driving too close, you know you need your following distance to stop. They train, they 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 teach you that in school. You know we can't stop on the dime, so why be why be tailgating? What for what? You need that space in order to know what to do next. You know? If you're swerving all over the place, maybe you feel in some kind of way, pull over and get some rest. Pull over and get some air. If you're too fatigued, then pull over, call your fleet manager, let them know what's going on, and you just got to get some rest. There's a lot of things that us truck drivers can do to prevent situations and to prevent officers from taking extreme measures in order to make sure that the roads are safe. Come on. I mean, I know you get, I know you truck drivers are saying, oh man, it's all about the money and they don't have nothing else better to do and yada, 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 yada. They always want to stop truck drivers and this, that, and the third. I get you. I understand you. I'm with you. I'm a truck driver and I, I understand everything, but still for safety sakes, a lot of you, let's be honest, let's be truthful. A lot of you drivers out here don't do what you're supposed to do as far as safety concerns. Driving with your foot up on the uh, driving with your foot up on the wheel and 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 driving, you know, driving distracted and everything, man. Come on, you drivers know what you guys be doing out here, and then y'all get mad. When you get pulled over because of it, come on now. Now you upset because because state troopers are taking extreme measures to to make sure that their roads are safe. And again, like the one guy in the comments said, yo, you need to do this in all states. They do, bro. <laughs> they again, like I said in the intro, they don't advertise it. They don't advertise it. So just be careful. And just like the officer said, assume that there's a that there's a state trooper in the truck that rolls that rides past you. If you're on the if if you're on the phone, get off the phone. <laughs> get off the phone. And trust me, state troopers knows the tales. They 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 knows the tales of a person that's that's on the phone. If if you con if if you constantly look down at your lap for a long period of time, they know that you're on the phone. They know the tales. So I'm just saying, protect yourself and your CDLs by doing what you need to do properly. All these highways that goes through Ohio. Just inspect a state trooper at every U-turn. All right. All right. So if this information is good enough and it and it's useful, make sure you share it. Do all the good stuff and let you know that the best conversations starts over here. If you want to jump in and holler at your boy, yo, hit me up. 216-600-2090. All right. And if you follow me on TikTok at Lockout Man Podcast and you have any, if you have any videos you want me to react to or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? If it's trucker related, I will talk, I'll talk about it over here. And if it's like the bullshit, I'll talk about it over there on TikTok. So make sure you follow me on TikTok and make sure you subscribe to me over here on YouTube. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy and I'll holler at you in another video. Peace.